One of the cryptos that I've been holding for the longest amount of time because I got in at such an incredible price is Cardano, is ADA. I've had it staked. I actually also recommended that relatives and some friends and some of my family invest in Cardano and they did. But recently, I actually recommended that they sell their position. Me personally, I'm still holding on to ADA, but it's becoming more and more tricky to. And I want to discuss that now. I want to preface it by saying, saying that I do have respect for Charles Hoskinson. He's clearly an incredibly intelligent fella. He definitely knows what he's doing. I mean, he was one of the co-developers for Ethereum. He was one of the ones that had a really significant role in the business and funding model of Ethereum. For those that don't know, eventually him and Vitalik had a dispute about should Ethereum be for profit? Vitalik wanted it to be non-profit. And so Hoskinson left and he went ahead and started the Cardano project, Input Output Global, IOG, which used to be known as IOHK, Input Output Hong Kong, which is not the greatest idea with Trump being president. You don't want to throw around the term Hong Kong too much. But my main criticism of Cardano as a project, and there have been many roadmaps, many changes, many hurdles that led to today, but they've been around for nearly 10 years. And they have this scientific, very, very rigorous academic approach. They're obsessed with peer reviewed everything. And it's great. I mean, I have a grad school degree. I understand the purpose and the trust that comes with peer reviewed articles. But despite the super rigorous research, does Cardano not have like super limited practical applications? And is it just me or is all of their impactful projects extremely delayed. There are always delays of the employment of their most impressive projects that they keep touting. I remember this in the last bull run. You will remember that they were trying to be a digital ID system for a lot of universities and governments as well. They started with Ethiopia. I have not heard about anything to do with that project. Atala Prism. I haven't heard about that in a really long time. Ada Pay. When is the last time you saw a merchant come out and say, we now accept ADA and we are integrating ADA pay into our system? It's not really happening too much. And there's so many other projects that are really, really delayed. And also in doing research, I saw that there is an absence of some of the major stable coins like USDT, Tether, USDC, USD coin within the Cardano network network. And this definitely suggests limited DeFi activity and adoption. And by the way, I mentioned USDT, USDC. I did really deep dives explaining these stable coins. If you want to take a look and understand these crypto projects, I will link it in the description of the video. So again, beyond the exchange transfers or having very low cost and maybe transactions per second being so much more than Bitcoin or Ethereum, what are the actual use cases? They would always speak about supply chain management solutions, agriculture, I've even heard gaming, but is it just all exploratory research and a ton of pilot programs? Because any article you see about something being adopted of Cardano's use cases, it's usually a pilot program, but then it doesn't really expand and turn into mass adoption. So the question is, are there actual tangible outcomes that come from a lot of these initiatives? Because if it is, it's extremely slow to materialize. Again, it's been a decade. Some of these other project have only been around for like five or six years and they have more use case and utility and more to show for than something like Cardano. Speaking of which, it is a really complicated platform. I've spoken to some developers and they say it is very difficult to build on compared to some other options. Also, if you look into it, it seems like there's been really slow adoption of smart contract functionality and use cases on the Cardano network. 
network. And whenever there's a lot of criticism or heat thrown in Cardano's way, you always see Charles Hoskinson come out and start doing, you know, very complicated mathematical stuff on a whiteboard or do Q and A's. And he's always saying in these AMAs, he's saying, well, we're going to have the most amazing upgrade Hydra or the fork he keeps talking about. And honestly, it's kind of just kicking the can down the road for nearly a decade now is what it seems like to me. And every single year they come out with a new year's resolution. Here's our roadmap. Here is where we really are going to take off this year because this is the year that everything works out for Cardano. But personally, and again, I got in at great prices. I'm sitting on a massive profit percentage wise. I don't have a tremendous amount of ADA, but I am thinking of pulling out soon because I just don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. I honestly do not see a roadmap where ADA is going to appreciate in value. And also just to support the project, I would actually consider having my ADA position because I'm all about the cryptos that have utility. At the same time though, if someone comes to me and says, Eddie, you know so much about crypto and you have a channel, can you please tell me the utility of Cardano? I can talk about some pilot programs. I can talk about some theoretical stuff that I've heard Charles Hoskinson mention in some of his videos. But if they start pressing a little bit more and they say, okay, but who is using this? Which company, which country, which group of people, which industry, then I'm hard pressed to give them an accurate answer or to give them any answer at all. So again, is the Cardano project just stuck in a very rigorous scientific approach? Is it all academic in nature? Or am I about to sell all of my ADA and then miss out because this truly is the year when ADA is going to take off, when the Cardano use case is really going to come to light. And finally, the Cardano Foundation, Embargo, IOG, they'll all be proven right. And the Cardano and ADA investors and enthusiasts will also be proven right. And I'll be the schmuck that sold my bag for a decent profit, but I could have made a lot more. I'm curious on what you think, if you've been holding ADA for a very long time, if you've been following Cardano from the jump, what are your thoughts on this project? I do see it slipping as far as like the biggest projects around. I believe it used to be the number third largest project. And because of unit bias, a lot of people during the last bull run were actually investing in Cardano and ADA because they were looking at the price of Bitcoin. It's so sky high and ADA, it's just around a dollar. Obviously, that's unit bias. Obviously, they're not paying attention to market cap and understanding that it's just about percentage appreciation of your principal. And it doesn't matter if you own a fraction of something, a whole of something, if you own a thousand of something or one one thousandth of something. It's just about the principal you put in and then percentage wise, the appreciation of that crypto asset. But that's a video for another time. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I appreciate you guys for watching this video in its entirety and hopefully I will see some of you in the next one.